Satina, precisely you. Witam serdecznie wszystkich fanów Formuły 1 w kolejnej edycji magazynu Sokolim Okiem. Dzisiaj naszym gościem jest człowiek, który zna Roberta Kubicę chyba jak własną kieszeń. Jego menadżer Daniele Morelli. Daniele, welcome to Poland. Thank you. Tell me, when you met Robert for the first time many, many years ago, did you ever know where such a country like Poland is? Well, you have the knowledge, uh, uh, the general knowledge of a uh, of an Easter country that uh, has, was just out of, uh, of the European, Western European borders, you know. But of course, you know, the knowledge of Poland uh, start to get it uh, by knowing Robert is, um, is uh, environment and by coming to Poland first time 10 years ago. And could you imagine that a driver from such a place without any tradition in motorsport could ever reach as high level as Formula One? Well, uh, yeah, it was not really uh, a concern at that time, especially because sometimes the nationality of the driver is an asset rather than uh, a minus. Uh, a, 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 country, a big country like Poland uh, with uh, so many inhabitants and uh, with, uh, with a, a growing uh, uh, trend that is uh, far more uh, higher than uh, the, the traditional uh, countries that are producing Formula One drivers was, uh, con uh, was considered by me at that time uh, uh, quite a good tool and I've used it. And uh, we can see that it was used with a great success but before we stick to all other historical moments of you and Robert, uh, as you can imagine Polish fans would kill me if I don't ask this question about his current health status, what's going on with him? Yes. Well, Well, I think that uh, uh, I, I can give uh, uh, good signs, you know, good uh, feedback from what, uh, uh, not only from what I've, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, but also from what the specialists uh, and the doctors are saying uh, upon Robert's recovery. So we have uh, uh, good news altogether. It's important that Robert uh, can, uh, is, is finding the right way for a complete uh, recovery. Uh, it's a bit too early to say exactly when, but uh, as it's, I'm not hiding the fact that we, are, we have a goal is, uh, uh, that is to try to put him back uh, on, on a Formula One car uh, before the end of this season. I was surprised that this progress of rehabilitation is such a quick one in this case, because I remember when we met on this day of the accident in the, in the hospital, the situation was really grave. It was, yes, obviously it was. And uh, when you are in an emergency situation, uh, there's no one that can forecast uh, uh, what will be the outcome, especially you know, when there, is a, uh, there are so many traumas. Uh, and, uh, but then after, you know, after a couple of months, you know, the, the, Uh, we, we could start to understand where, where, was the, where were the, the weakness uh, and uh, uh, thanks to the several operations that Robert uh, had to do, uh, we, we have improved all the, all, all the parts that were uh, uh, strongly affected. L yesterday we had uh, the last, uh, probably the last operation that has uh, removed this uh, adhesions uh, that these uh, internal scars uh, that, uh, that were affecting the, the, the movement of the hand. And uh, I talked to Dr. Ceccarelli that is coordinating the, the medical plan uh, of, of Robert. Uh, I talked to him a couple of hours ago and, uh, and uh, everything is going really well. So what is the main concern now? Is it the, the hand, the movement, the leg, ability to walk? Is he, is he able to walk by himself right now? Is he grabbing things with the, with the hand? What's, the leg, what's the leg is okay, it's not uh, really a concern. Would it be just the leg? You know, uh, we would not be here really to discuss uh, uh, so deeply, you know, his general conditions. You know, uh, the functionality of the hand is good. We have to, uh, Robert has to work now on the recovery of the strength 
and uh, and uh, that will be long, of course, and uh, because we can uh, we, we it cannot exceed in uh, in the rehabilitation plan. Uh, we want to do it, things properly with no hurry, uh, so that uh, when Robert uh, will uh, will be back for driving, he will be uh, comfortable with this uh, with this movement and with this uh, with the functionality. So no rush, step by step. Absolutely. Well, there's, we are not. Uh, we will not fight for the championship this season. That's a fact, and uh, and therefore we have to concentrate on uh, on a complete rehabilitation rather than on the speed of the rehabilitation. And what's the situation between the driver and the team? Is the seat waiting for him until he would be able to to drive at the end of the year, or there is some concern? Because there well, some we are in constant him. contact. Uh, you know, for sure. You know, the team then has also. Uh, the, some duties uh, related to the decisions for the for the 2012 season, and uh, uh, there are deadlines that are pretty much flexible, you know. But uh, of course, that uh, in, uh, in in autumn, the team will will need to take decisions. But I, I can imagine that the driver of that class that Robert has wouldn't have problems with uh, getting a seat when he's fit to to come back. That's clear. Yeah, fortunately, you know, Robert is one of the most uh, uh, valuable drivers in uh, in today's uh, in today's Formula One field, and uh, the the appetite of the teams towards Robert is has, has always been strong. And tell me, this situation of injury, rehabilitation, missing some time on the track, is it somehow similar to what happened in 2003 when he broke his arm in a road accident? Of course, this one is more serious, but maybe there are some things that now can make it easier for, for example, for him mentally to, you know, to, to recover, knowing that he's able to You're right. In, in, uh, from a certain point of view, the fact that he has already faced a situation uh, in a similar period, just before the season. At that time it was Formula 3, now it's Formula 1, and that uh, he, he was uh, uh, in a hurry to be back. You know, uh, uh, and he managed to do in uh, very quickly uh, a, a comeback uh, uh, in 2003 that was uh, then particularly strong because he, he, he then came back and won his uh, rookie race in Formula 3. This is, is also uh, is obviously giving a, a kind of uh, uh, support to Robert, uh, to Robert's mind, uh, and he knows that uh, by fighting and by working, uh, he, he can be back. In 2003, that was the time when I met you for the first time, and you had a lot less grey hair on your head. Does it mean that working in Formula One is so stressful? 2003 is eight years ago, so I think that uh, it's just a, the natural evolution of, uh, of a man. At that point, the prospect of getting with Robert into Formula One, was it a wish, a plan or something certain for you when if we come It back? was a plan. Not certain because I, mean, I would be arrogant if I would say that I, was, I had the certitude to, 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 to bring to Robert into Formula One. But uh, we, in 2001, we had a five years plan uh, that was uh, uh, prepared carefully, you know, with the two seasons in Formula Renault, two, season, two seasons in Formula Three and then one, se one or two seasons in a let's say major formula at that time we had different uh, it was formula 3000 formula at the time 3000 of the still and uh, and then we decided for world series you know because gp2 was uh, uh, a brand new series and it was a bit unclear uh, what uh, was uh, the, the the level of the teams and so on Okay, we made the right choice uh, with World Series by Renault and the five years plan was respected. And was there any moment of doubt when you thought, okay, it's pointless, we cannot make it, like, you know, 2004 uh, in Formula 3 with, with Muka team, that, you know, you cannot make it, let's switch the focus on something else. Was there any such moment of difficulty? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a, a highway, the road to Formula 1. Uh, it's, a, it's a road that is plenty of, uh, uh, of corners and uh, uphills and downhills, you know. You have to be prepared to, to bad, uh, bad situations or bad seasons, you know, but never give up because if you give up, it's better that uh, you, you go and you choose another job. 
and how important is the financial background of a driver in the process of getting him into Formula One because Robert never had a major supporters, I mean financial supporters behind him, was it more difficult? Oh, of course, it's clear that motor racing is not like football where you just buy a ball and then you play. Uh, motor racing you need, uh, you need to have uh, resources, financial resources, you know, it's very expensive and, uh, and you have to be very, very careful on how do you spend the money. It's clear that in the case of Robert, the, 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 the good results he had were helping in, uh, in um, negotiating good budgets with the teams because the teams, they are prepared to, to make an effort uh, in order to see if they can have a, a strong driver. In Robert's case, you know, I think that the, the, the effort was uh, important but uh, sufficiently uh, but reasonable. In the 90s you worked with uh, Pedro Diniz who on the contrast had a lot of financial support so I guess that was easier situation but I think it didn't give you as much fun as working with the driver of class of, of Robert. Uh, Pedro Diniz was, uh, uh, was really an underestimated driver you know uh, and um, uh, he, he presented uh, himself in fo uh, into, into Formula One with a, with a, with a big sponsorship uh, uh, support, and that uh, gave him a kind a certain stamp of uh, being a paid driver, you know. But uh, altogether, he was not stealing the seat uh, to to better driver, uh, and he had uh, you know he had. Quite difficult comparison with uh, uh, Damon Hill, in, uh, who was uh, world champion, you know, uh, at that time with Mika Salo, with Jean Alesi, and uh, it was not, uh, it was not uh, ridiculous, let's say, absolutely not in, uh, in the comparison. But of course, you know, there are drivers like Robert that uh, are another level, uh, drivers that are uh, naturally talented and that. Most important, they have uh, sacrificed strength and, uh, and, uh, and endeavor to work and to find uh, the, the, the best from themselves. Precisely you.